All right, so we got to see a series of Baker Mayfield, the guy who we assume will be the starter for the Carolina Panthers, and I thought he played solid. He looked, you know, good. I thought he didn't miss any throws, which is nice because he missed throws last year, and people are wondering, is that due to the injury, which the answer is maybe. But anyways, let's just talk about the film. We'll start off with this play. This is most of what he did. It's nothing too fancy, which it's preseason. You're not going to get stuff that's too fancy. It's a zone coverage that they're going up against, and this concept can be zone coverage. Look at how right when this play begins for Mayfield, he looks underneath and there's just a player wide open underneath. So the concept is designed to get this guy open here on this type of play and it worked out. So you'll take that. The situation is it's a third down and four. So you're not trying to do too much. You're just trying to pick up the first down. And as you see, Mayfield does a good job. He's able to hit his man and they are able to pick up the first down there. Is this a difficult throw? No, it isn't. It's a throw that you quite frankly expect uh, guys to be able to make, but still, it's nice to see that he's making those, and, you know, there was, he had a pretty high hit rate, didn't miss any throws again, so he looks healthy, which is kind of the first step. Now, we still saw something like this, where on this play, I can't actually make out exactly what coverage it is, sometimes it's hard with these, you know, uh, broadcast footage camera angles, I can't see the safeties, so, uh, I don't know exactly what happened here, but this is the classic Mayfield type of play, which, listen, He's a guy who's going to take some shots. That's just what he does. He is a gunslinger at heart. He, You can try to pull it back as much as possible, but he is going to take some chances, you know, at certain times. Look at how Mayfield is going to take the snap. He runs the play action, doesn't like what he sees over the middle because that appeared to not be open. And instead, he's throwing deep down the field into double coverage. This is a tough throw to make. I don't know exactly what he saw. Again, broadcast footage dealing with what we had. But, you know, even if this is, uh, you know, a play that we are going to blame Mayfield for or not going to blame Mayfield for if we ever see the All-22 footage. I think it's still fair to say this is just kind of what is in Mayfield's nature. You're not, just because you're not in the Browns uniform anymore, uh, you know, he did it in college as well. He's going to take some chances. This one is going to get knocked away. And listen, sometimes that results in touchdowns. Sometimes it results in interceptions. Sometimes it results in incomplete passes. There's good and bad to that type of stuff, but that is just kind of who he is as a player. We can move over to one like this. Now, this is another good play. Again, kind of similar to that first play of, is this the most difficult play you'll ever see a quarterback make? No, but again, it's preseason. You're never going to see that. It's still an important play, though. A third down and four, you want to pick up the first down. And the way you do this is it's man coverage. So find the matchup you like the best. That's what you should be doing here. Look at how right when this play begins, that's essentially what happens here is Mayfield looks over and he says, that's a good matchup. The defensive player who's covering the guy I'm trying to throw to, his hips are turned towards the sideline to the offense's right, which is towards the top of the screen, whereas my guy's cutting over the middle of the field. So that leverage is a, just a good situation and can definitely allow for a completion to be made. So again, it's a good situation, but you know, to some degree, you want your quarterback to just make the right play. And as you see, that's exactly what Mayfield does. He does throw over and he makes the right play. So again, he looks healthy. These throws are right on the money, which is the best part, I think, is that he's his accuracy is good because his accuracy wasn't good last year. And typically it has been good. That's typically an advantage for Mayfield, which leads me to believe that that might have been an injury thing. And this is if you are a believer in he was hurt last year and that's why he struggled. Well, then stuff like this is something that makes you feel more optimistic. Now going over here, just a couple of miscues I saw. Nothing major, nothing that I think is a, a big deal, but this is just kind of, you know, with this quarterback competition, I don't know how many first team reps he's getting. He's also just new, a new Panther. So he hasn't had the time that some other guys have had with these players. And you saw that on tape where he just, he's got to work with the, getting the chemistry down. First, we're going to see this. As you see, it's just a, a botched snap. Is that his fault? Is that the center's fault? It's probably a, a chemistry thing. You know, Peyton Manning always says that one of those examples is one too many. You should never let that happen. Now, that's Peyton Manning. I get it. But still, uh, you don't want it to happen. And it's a chemistry thing that, you know, get, make these mistakes in preseason so you don't make them in the regular season. Also, this one, which is a third down and 14 right here. Again, these aren't like, oh my God, Baker Mayfield sucks. These are just, you have to get more reps. These are, you know, the growing pains you have to deal with when you're going with a new team. When Tom Brady joined the Buccaneers, you know, we saw these types of plays. Watch how Mayfield is going to throw to his left, and that's just a miscommunication. He thought his receiver was uh, cutting. His receiver goes straight right and it's incomplete so just a miscommunication uh for whatever reason you know one guy did one thing the other guy did the other thing I don't know what that play concept is the receiver on the other side of the field did curl back so maybe this receiver was supposed to as well but it's impossible to say so if that was Mayfield's fault not a big deal it's just you got to get the chemistry down 
So yeah, for me personally, I would say this is a good sign for Baker Mayfield and he has passed the first test, as I feel like I say in a lot of these videos. We do not know that Baker Mayfield is going to be who he was two years ago, but I mean, you can easily talk yourself into that. Like, that's a very legitimate possibility is that, and it does kind of make some sense. Like, logically, I can definitely get there of, you know, last year he was banged up. We know that. Uh, and that kind of caused some issues that we don't typically see from Mayfield. And now this year, uh, you know, if he's healthy, those issues might not be as clear. Now, uh, you know, I do still stand by. Some of his issues last year were not physical issues. They were also just mental issues like throwing in the double coverage on deep balls, which is definitely something he will do. But at the same time, maybe the injury caused him to not be able to hit as many of those. So, you know, in the past, uh, those ones would be caught. But now last year, they were not caught because he, his accuracy was off because of the injury. So that's also possible. And I think think that we'll probably at least, you know, we'll have a good chance of figuring that out this season as someone like, you know, Baker Mayfield has a chance to be successful. And hey, um, he, he was a lot better than, uh, you know, it went for Deshaun Watson in Watson's first start. So there you go. Good stuff for uh, Mayfield to start things off that way. I, I, I like what I saw from him. Again, it's preseason. It's one series. There, there just is only going to be so much you can take away from that. But, uh, you know, I, I think that to me, uh, I thought that from what I've seen from Sam Darnold, I think that uh, I do like what I saw from Baker Mayfield. Just in general, I like what I've seen from Baker Mayfield more, so I'm already going to have that kind of bias. To me, it is Mayfield's job. He was with the first team, and it's his job to lose. I think Darnold has to prove he's the better guy, and if he doesn't do that, then it's Mayfield's job. That's how I would view it, and same thing with Matt Corral, uh, who is still in the mix as well, but seems like it's Mayfield's job to lose, and I think Mayfield might actually have to lose it more so than Darnold or Corral can win it. I think Mayfield might have to struggle. So the fact that he's not struggling means he's probably going to be the starter, which is, you know, probably the right thing for the Panthers. Probably good news for Panthers fans. And hey, if you can get a, a Baker Mayfield of two years ago, there's worse quarterbacks in the league. I don't think there's any denying that. You have to pay him next year, but you know, uh, that's that'd be a good problem to have if you get in that situation. So uh, yeah. That's what I think about all of this. What did you guys think of Mayfield and his first performance as a Carolina Panther? Uh, let me know in the comments below. What were your thoughts? Uh, how do you think he did? Good, bad, in between, don't care. Let me know. Always love hearing from you. And of course, as always, thanks for watching.